Right, we had a couple of issues with uh, a couple of things, and I'll show you that in a minute. And Bailey have kindly a arranged for us to go to Kimberley Caravans, which is in Darlington, Kimberley Caravans and Motorhomes. So this morning, that's where we're going. Um, let me just show you what uh, the, those issues were. First one was that this um, surround for the, the, the Hecky, I never know whether it's Hecky or Hikey, actually came loose. It, it, it came, I didn't fall off, it just came loose at this end. So I've stuck it up with a bit of good old Gorilla tape, tape yeah. for now. So I'm hoping that they've got some clips that they can find. It's like little metal clips that hold it in place. Like I say, it's nothing, it's nothing major. No, survived a week almost, didn't we? Yeah, yeah. The other thing which was a bit more, of a, not major again, but more of a pain really, was the microwave. Um, we found that the microwave would only work if you leant on the door. Something wrong with the door catch mechanism. So we had to sort of hold the door shut to use it, which is a bit bonkers really. <laughs> so, so, like I say, we survived without a microwave, haven't we? Yeah, yeah, we have, yeah. yeah, yeah. So, um, so that's where we're off to. So we're just going to make our way over there and who knows, we might have a look at some motorhomes or even caravans, who knows. Say again. Okay, thanks. Thank you. Little camera. I'm pressing on the camera icon on the uh, intercom there. I'm wondering why nothing's happening. Yeah, put it on the floor. Oh, pop there's some food on the floor. Look, food. What's that? <laughs> <laughs> Psychology of dogs, eh? Yeah. <laughs> you won't take it from your hand, won't yeah. take it off the floor? No. No, it's a very nice coffee. They've got a proper, proper coffee machine there, haven't they? Go and have a look. They're a Swift and a Bailey dealer here, aren't they, sir? Yep. Yeah, come on, let's have a look. They've got their own, and Eldis as well, by the looks of it, yep. So they've got their own uh, little little van here, Kensington. And they've got a whole collection of uh, Swift Vesica cars. Starting with the little one, haven't they? 524. 524, yeah. Right, here's the 7640 on an Alliance range. So same sort of layout that we're testing at the moment. What you've got different to start with, you can see from the outside, is you've got a black cab. 
you've got more sort of uh, the black sort of goes in along here doesn't it yeah. same size wheels and trim this is 51,998 so you're paying what's that that's two that's about three thousand pound more You've got a bigger engine, you? Yeah, you've got a 160 brake horsepower engine. You've got an awning on the outside. TV aerial on the top. Oh, yeah. Just about see it. But you've still got the... Yeah, you've still got things like that. Hard. So it, it's, you know, it's everything that the Advance has got, plus the extras. Still no reversing camera, I, thought, I was surprised, I thought well, it would, but oh, I thought it would have a reversing camera, but oh, I thought that. Have a look. So identical layout to what we've got, but you, what you do get is you get a radio with sat-nav built in. So, um, like I say, 160 brake horsepower engine as well. well. It's the layout we've been using, got familiar with. Different microwave. It's a, yeah, what did you right. call it? A hello, oppor uh, hello opportunity. Hello opportunity. That opportunity. <laughs> <laughs> Same cupboards, aren't they? Yeah, absolutely the same cupboards. Top one at the top. Oh yeah, that's still stiff. <laughs> Slightly different headboards. Yeah, I mean obviously the the upholstery is different, isn't it? I like this colour. Yeah, the it's like with a bit of red in there. Yeah, there's some of them. It's lighter with like purple in. I don't like that so much, but no, I like that. It's the same fridge and cooker you've got a solar panel on it as well haven't you so bathrooms the same the showers the same yeah I mean you could be in the advance 764t if you didn't know I think some of the, the tops are a bit tops, yeah. nice, nice sort of blending in, aren't they? Yeah. Different sort of colour. Different colour on the tops, yeah. Is it still white in the bathroom, all the walls? And yeah, yeah. All, the, all the walls are all white. Yeah. They're, they're GRP walls, so yeah. you don't have to worry about not being able to keep them clean. But yeah. I don't know why they've gone for a Russell, Russell Hobbs microwave and not a day you. Oh, and the other thing you've got, of course, is a window, a window in, the, in, the door, in the door. Yeah. yeah. Which is good because you can look out. Yeah. Opening the door. I think the major expense probably goes on the upgraded engine. What do you think? And the awning, yeah, I suppose so. Right. Nice accessory area here as well. Right, pups. taps and everything. Right, Kimberley Ca uh, Caravans and Motorhomes have kindly swapped out the dodgy Deu for a Hello Opportunity Russell Hobbs. 
<laughs> it's quite a nice little microwave, isn't it? Yeah. Doesn't quite fit as well, but I suppose can't help that. But I noticed the, the the alliances have got the Russell Hobbs, so uh, that's good. And uh, we've repaired this this roof up here, and refitted that. Okay, that's good. I've spent a bit of money. I bought a, a multi socket USB and a 12 volt socket thing adapter. Because although you've got eight USBs the back, at the back, got that. you've only got one 12 volt socket and one USB at the front. And I've got camera, I've got dash cam, sat nav, phone. <laughs> so yeah, I need a few, a few more USBs. Right, so we've done our little uh, accessory addition here. We will be taking it with us, but it does mean now we've got four I don't suppose we ought to use four USBs at once there. No, but no, I don't think we need to, do we? Probably don't need to, no. But at least we've got some we've got an extra USB which we didn't have before. Right. So thank you, Kimberly Kimberly Caravans and Motorhomes. We've had a great time here actually, haven't we? Yeah. Enjoyed ourselves. Yeah. yeah. Do a lot looking around. Motor homes. The what, sorry? I do like looking around motor homes. Yeah, yeah. When we go to the shows, people wonder why we do it, but we just like looking around motor homes. Yeah. Quite like looking around caravans, but since we're a motor home channel. <laughs> <laughs> I think we've got a hell of a lot of caravans here. They have here, got a lot they? of caravans here, yeah. Yeah, so it yeah. might take us all day to look at them, or a week maybe. Yeah. I must admit, I do like that Alliance 7640. Yeah, yeah, just down there. Yep. Recalculating. How did we get out? The coin. Darlington without seeing if we can visit the, uh, rail, the railway Turn museum. Right onto Monday Street. Thank you. At end of the road, turn right onto Station Road. So then could always arrive at destination on the right. So we could always park out here, couldn't we? Yeah, so that's an overflow car park. Probably get in there, won't we? What way we went? Over Straight there. ahead. Alright. Yeah. Well, that, um, mm, mm. Not sure about that. That's no. quite a steep. Steep thing, oh, isn't it? Yeah. Have you arrived at your destination? Yes, thank you. Well, there's plenty of parking here. The only thing we've just found out is that it, it actually closes at half three. It's half two now, isn't it? So, yeah, yeah. So what's it say? Yeah, uh, Wednesday to Sunday, 11.30 to 3.30. It's probably worth adding that the parking is on the overflow car park. That's where I've parked. Because I think it's a little bit tight in here. Motorhomes. 
there is some disabled parking but most of them seem to be car park sized spaces so this is the old Darlington station isn't it really I suppose you could have parked over there, that's not too bad. There we go. Part of In our early 21st century world, mobile phones and wireless internet make us feel immediately and permanently connected to almost every corner of the country. It hasn't always been like this. Two hundred years ago, the vast majority of people lived and died within a twenty mile radius of where they were born and had little or no contact with the wider world around them. Mm -hmm. But how did the world change so much? Coal was the most important part of the Industrial Revolution, herald of the future that would demonstrate for the first time a new transport system that would change the world forever. It must have seemed, I suppose, like spatial. The people at this point were not used to technology. They had never seen anything like this before. So for them, the shock must have been quite incredible. Mm. Here's your ticket booking office. <laughs> <laughs> this film was just saying that without, without Darlington, without uh, Stevenson, you wouldn't have the modern no, well. You wouldn't have the modern world that you've got no. today. Uh, from, from a premises demolished in 1953 after being acquired by bins. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> Excellent. So this is what people come to see, isn't it? Locomotion. Probably the second most famous locomotive in the world. First being a rocket. Yeah, I guess so. It was actually built in Newcastle. Yeah. Driven by George Stevenson and hauled a train of 90 tonnes from Shildon to Stockton, 18 miles. And it was continued in use on this line until 1841. So you tend to think it was like a prototype, don't you? But it was actually in use for 20 odd years, yes, or yeah. nearly 20 years. Yeah. Look at that at the top. Yeah, look at all the gear on the top and the smokestack. Must, they must have had to stand in there then. No, you've got your water tank on the back. back. Yeah. Yeah, coal. A little platform possibly there. And then your boiler. And the, there's no no foot plate or anything there. It's a little step. To yeah, get a little in. step to get in. You're out near the animals as well, aren't Just you? a bit, yeah. Oh, that must have been dangerous. <laughs> but it was hauling 90 tonnes. These wagons were originally hauled by horses or ropes. And the first wagons weighed two and a half tons and it was a standard measurement by which coal was sold locally. The standard children was, is in the shape of a hopper with a door through the floor through which the coal is released. Wooden body on solid wheels. No, no suspension at all. No. This engine is the oldest surviving Darlington built locomotive in, the, in existence. So it was built for Stockton Darlington by A. Kitching, founder of Wesso Limited Darlington, and subsequently purchased by Messrs. Pease for use on their private lines. So the Derwent. You see a much big, bigger cylinder now, and three driving wheels. See how they suddenly changed, didn't they? In the shape compared to that. 
huge driving wheels now. Six foot driving wheels, I guess. This is Tenant 240. Carry weight weighed 74 tons. That's the last survivor of a class of 20 locomotives built in 1885 at Darlington North Road Works. Well, yeah, you know, got somewhere to sit now, haven't you? Mm. Much bigger locomotive now. So this is a class T3080. So it's got eight driving wheels altogether, four on each side. It was uh, 1990s restored to work in order and run on the North York Moors Railway. Oh, right, OK. Yeah, which we've been on, haven't we? Yeah, it's on loan from the National Railway Museum at York. It's a giant of an engine for heavy goods trains. It is pretty big. Yeah. Well, <laughs> mind the big wheel there. Can't really fit it all in. Massive boiler, absolutely massive boiler. can actually climb in here. Lift injector for steam, water gauge, blower for the draft, regulator, steam valve to ejector, steam valve to steam mechanism, and the pressure gauge, the vacuum brake lever, reverser, Please do not open me. Don't climb in the coal space. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> plenty of space in here. <laughs> Good, for, for, I don't know, two, about six people across there. Basic wooden seats and a bench and a bit of... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so this was it. A little, yeah. little better than a, little yeah. better than a wagon. Plus it was the start of, you know, there not being like a stagecoach. Yeah. Starting to be more like what we think of a railway carriage. Yeah. Would that be a fire or something there? Yeah, I suppose so. You could have had a fire in the middle, I suppose. Certainly you wouldn't want to sit under there. No. You'd be getting wet, wouldn't you? There's a little display in there saying the importance of women to the railways during the wars. Mm. How little importance they gave them after the mm. wars. Yeah, it's particularly in between the wars. Yeah. A little model railway of the Stockton and Darlington, the Stockton Quay. Stockton ticket office. Yeah, there's locomotion. Birtree Lane. Isn't the campsite in Birtree Lane? No, Birtree Lane was where we've been with Kimberley. Oh, Kimberley Caravans yeah. are in Birtree Lane, aren't they? Yeah. yeah. And it's like the same Birtree Lane. Yeah. The quarry. So they'd come down there and they'd be loaded up and towed by locomotion all the way down to the quay. Right down the other end. Right down the other end. That's good. Well, yeah. The rocket was also called the Great Iron Horse for its participation in the Rainhill Trials attracted over 15,000 people. Given the name because at the time it said the engine rode like a horse because cylinders by the wheel hammered down like horses' hooves. You can't see. <laughs> <laughs> I can't see what I'm looking at here. No. Right, that's it for today. Um, if you like what you see, give us a thumbs up. Remember to subscribe, hit that notifications icon, and hopefully we'll bring you more of stuff like things this. Like that, yeah. yeah. So we're off to Edinburgh tomorrow. Edinburgh tomorrow. So I'm yeah. looking forward to that. Yeah. yeah. Really enjoying ourselves at the moment, am I? Yeah. Yeah.
Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. All right. We'll catch up with you soon. Yeah. Well, you got to press the start confirm. Okay. And then turn it again. Oh, and then so you time. Three yeah. minutes. Okay. Three minutes. Three minutes. And yeah, then start and then again. Press start. Hey, we have a microwave. <laughs> I do like a good microwave meal. Mm. Little glasses of wine. Onion barges and pakoras. Yeah. Sagaloo and what was the other one? Uh, mushroom rice. Mushroom rice. Yeah. yeah they were done in the, the ordinary oven though. Oh, right, okay. Just the rest was done really quickly in the microwave. In the microwave. Mm. Which is really good. Mm.